408. <clears throat> we hold the treasure not made of gold in earthen vessels well untold. One treasure only the Lord the Christ in earthen vessels. Light has shone in our darkness, God has shone in our heart with the light of the glory of Jesus the Lord. We hold a treasure not made of gold in earth in vessels well untold. One treasure Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. Amen. We pause now to ask God's mercy. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, Mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I will prove the holiness of my great name profaned among the nations, in whom midst you have profaned it. Thus the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when in their sight I prove my holiness through you. For I will take you away from uh, among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and a place for a new spirit within you. Taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes. Careful to observe my decrees. You shall, you shall live in the land I gave your ancestors. You shall be my people and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Amen. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O oh God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled. O oh God, you will not spurn. 
I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. Alleluia, alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus, again in reply, spoke to the chief priests and the elders of the people in parables, saying, the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time he sent other servants saying, tell those invited, behold, I have prepared my banquet, my calves and fattened cattle are killed and everything is ready, come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away one to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then the king said to his servants, The feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main roads and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets, and gathered all they found, bad and good alike. And the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guests, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. He said to him, my friend, how is it that you come here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, bind his hands and feet and cast him into the darkness outside where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The <clears throat> end of the Gospel sort of gives us a summary of what Jesus is trying to teach to the elders and the chief priests of his people. And that is that sometimes the Lord goes out and collects everyone into his feast, invites everyone. As it says there, the good and the bad alike. Everyone is invited, but once the feast is called, though there are those who, even though they've accepted the invitation, are not really prepared to partake in the banquet of the Lord in the Lord's celebration of the uh, wedding banquet of his son, Jesus. It, it is not because that person didn't get invited, but did not change their life, did not put on the wedding garment, or what we would say is the baptismal garment of Christ. All are invited, but not all always Meet, meet the needs of what there is or respond fully with a complete giving of themselves to the Lord. The Lord calls us into his wedding feast and he asks all of us to continue in that invitation to transform our lives, to put on Christ and to wear Christ in our lives. For that is the truest of all wedding garments. In baptism, we put on Christ. And throughout our lives, we are to grow into the image and the likeness of Christ so that we may participate with him in the heavenly banquet. Let us stand to pray. Raising our voices with trust in our heavenly father, we present our prayers for ourselves and the world. For the church, may God, who is love, grant her members the grace to grow in love and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace and justice in our nations and across the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those burdened by despair or loneliness, may the healing hand of Jesus be upon them and bring them peace. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may we be blessed with the fruits of the Spirit in all our work and ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, may God grant them peace and eternal life. We remember today at this Mass, Eleanor Trent. Also, we pray for Julius, Julius grandson Christopher who died yesterday that he be received into God's heavenly embrace we pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. for whom else shall we pray for peace in Ukraine and in our own country we pray to the Lord Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer we continue prayers for Father Kemsky and his new uh, assistant living that he would be able to transition and he would find peace and joy there, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask that you hear and answer these prayers we offer through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. <coughs> And so it is right that all your creatures serve you and all the redeemed praise you and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Eleanor, remembered at this mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In confidence, we pray now in the words our Savior taught. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness, make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We'll sing the second verse of our hymn. Number 408. God has chosen the lowly who are small in this world. In his weakness is glory in Jesus the Lord. We hold a treasure not made of gold. In earthen vessels well untold. One treasure only the Lord, the Christ, in earth and vast.